everyone, I hope you're well. So this is going to be a bit of an autumn winter haul try on. Um, it's basically just H&M. Why do the dogs start barking as soon as I talk? H&M and ASOS. Uh, there's not a massive amount of stuff here. I do want to go to Primark. I've seen quite a few Primark hauls and there's a few items that I've seen that I quite like. So I'm gonna do that as a separate video, I think. Maybe like a shop with me in Primark and then a haul after. Um, that's my idea anyway. Window shut. Hopefully you won't be able to hear the dogs keep barking. Um, yeah, so I am going to start off with actually two items that I got from eBay. I have just been looking just randomly, just seeing if I can find anything. Um, sometimes you can find some really good used stuff and or just lightly used or even new with tags on but you can get it obviously at a discounted price because someone's bought something and then they never wear it or they can't fit into it or something so I actually picked up and obviously like I must admit like buying stuff online you have to be careful because you don't know exactly what they look like in real life so colours can be slightly different um, and this skirt that I'm going to show you looks different in the picture it just the um, material I had a different mind of what the material would be but I do like it and actually putting it on is actually really quite nice it's just a little bit maybe more skimpy than I expected but um, this skirt was actually uh, brand new it's got tags in it it's originally from Sainsbury's and originally it is £14 and I got it for about I think I bidded on it about £6.50 and it's my size so it's a size 8 and it's basically this sort of check um, sort of dog tooth style checkered tartan whatever you want to call it sort of skirt um for some reason i expect it to be a bit thicker or just i don't know it's kind of that sort of stretchy kind of material um and yeah like i mentioned it's fine on like i wouldn't wear it without tights you definitely have to wear it with tights it's actually an okay length um and i did get it for a you know an absolute bargain it was half the price of what it should be brand new with tags on and yeah i think i could potentially pull this off with a couple of things for evening wear for Christmas. I also got this um, cardigan which I really really like. This was an absolute buy. I got this for under £6 and that was with postage. This was used but it said in the description lightly used and the pictures it looked pretty much brand new. Um, I got it in my size. It's originally from Next. Um, so a lot of the time from Next I buy in a size 6 or an 8 because I find their stuff a little bit oversized. Uh, this was actually a 6 and I kind of winged it hoping that it would be an oversized fit. And yeah, it's basically just an oatmeal long cardigan. Uh, it doesn't really look like it's been used much. Um, it's not pulled in any way. Um, it has like this little clasp so you can clasp it up um, at a lower point. And yeah, it's just something I don't have in this sort of colour, this oatmeal colour. And, you know, originally this probably would have been around £26, £30 from next. So I found that, that was an absolute bargain buy. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. And it's going to go with lots of things. It's going to be super warm over the winter. So I have... Actually, I'll go on to next because I did buy two things from next that were new. Um, I did buy a couple more things. But of course, you always end up sending things back that don't fit or they just don't really go for your taste. Again, buying online, you just never really know. Um, but I fell in love with this skirt and it's very kind of on trend, uh, the whole leopard print thing. And I kind of, I ordered it and I kind of wanted to not like it because it was like more than what I would ever pay, I think, for just a skirt. However, I'm kind of looking at it as an investment piece. It's really gorgeous. The quality is lovely. It's in their tailored section. So it's just slightly more sort of the, the cut is just fitting so nicely and the length and everything for my like short stumpy body. Um, so yeah, I got this skirt and yeah, it's got pleats in it. It's something I just don't have at all. Like I've seen so many people with these pleated skirts. I just don't do skirts in general and I just kind of wanted to get out of my comfort zone and just I don't know go for something a little bit different and something that I don't have in my wardrobe so um yeah this is in the tailored section it is 48 pounds okay I know really bloody expensive um for a skirt but honestly it fits like a glove I got it in the eight actually has a bit of room and I wanted it to have a little bit more of a give um this is obviously kind of I don't even know what what fabric this is 
but it's not stretchy fabric uh, but I wanted to have a bit more room so I could tuck stuff down in it so if I wanted to wear like a knitted jumper or a roll neck I was thinking more like a roll neck I think in the picture there's um, the lady is wearing like a black roll neck or or maybe the roll neck that I'm going to show you now um, but yeah it's basically you know the standard sort of leopards print but there is definitely um, it's kind of just a bit smaller I think and it's kind of a little bit classier than some of the um, leopard prints that you find some some of them can look a bit tacky or a bit too orange I just liked the tone of this one um, and it's just really pretty so I can't wait to wear that with like black boots Chelsea boots I can wear it in the evenings I can wear it during the day with some like um, just I don't know just casual boots I don't know, I'm hoping I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. You'll find out next year if I've got enough use out of it and it's worth the money. Um, and then the other item that I got was an orange roll, roll neck. So I already have a black one from last year from Next. So I thought I would go for this burnt orange colour. There is a mustardy colour as well, which I'm so tempted by. I think it might be this colour. But I'm going to stick with the black and the orange to start with. I also have a navy one. Um, but this, yeah, um, I think these were paired together. Just to kind of cash it down a bit. But I think you could dress this up with a really nice heel, a really nice necklace. Um, and, yeah, it's got little buttons here, if you can see those. And I really liked it. This was, I think this was definitely more reasonable. Um, oh, £18. Pounds. I don't know if that's reasonable for a roll neck but you know as long as you keep things like I like to bring you know put things away and then bring it back out some other roll necks from a few years ago are still kind of going strong so then I'm going to get on to ASOS I have one item from ASOS actually I think I might have two hang on yeah I had an item in my wardrobe that I've already worn and I actually have had quite a lot of comments from my Instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram I think I just done a, like a really sad toilet selfie and someone was like or quite a few people are like, oh, where'd you get that shirt from? So this shirt is from ASOS. Again, it's leopard print. You can see the crazy cool colours in it. I think it's quite nice though. It's not, although it's kind of out there, I don't think it's too out there. Um, having said that, you're gonna laugh at me for this, but I bought it on a whim thinking that, nah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna fit me anyway. So they've got loads of stuff in the sale at the moment. I saw this and then I realised it was the maternity stuff. And they literally only had the size six left. So they had the smallest size left. And I just basically winged it, bought it. And funnily enough, it's, it is definitely oversized, obviously, to naturally fit a bump in underneath. But generally, the rest of it is a size six. So the arms are fine. Um, it's just a little bit longer than your average, I would say. To me, this is like, a, would say, a size 10. Um, but it's classed as a maternity size six. And no, I'm not pregnant, I'm not expecting to get pregnant, but I just really like this shirt and it was half price, it was £12.50 and I absolutely love it. Um, the quality is really nice, I think it would be really good for layering uh, with like just a basic sort of grey or navy or even black jumper over the top. Um, and for £12.50 I was really, really happy to kind of risk buying it and I quite like the long length, it's like quite a lot longer. Yeah, so that is my random maternity buy. And then the other, other top that I got, again, is leopard print. Can you believe it? In the burnt orange and black is also from ASOS. This is their just an ASOS brand. I got it in the size eight. I think it was about 25 pounds. I know it's slightly more expensive as well. It's lush quality though. Um, I actually have a pink high neck leopard print one from last year. It's like a blush pink. Um, I think it's in the brand Pieces. If you put in Pieces in the ASOS search engine, it should come up. It's still there. Again, I paid just a little bit more for it. But honestly, the quality is so lovely. It's so thick. It washes amazingly. Um, it's never shrunk or anything through the tumble dryer. Um, so this is basically the same thing. It feels the same quality, really super thick. Um, this one, however, is a V-neck. Um, and yeah, I got it in size 8, it's slightly oversized and it's just again something different other than obviously the leopard print. Okay, I got one item from Gap, I saw this online and I managed to get it in store with, I think it's 40% off, yeah I got 40% off the new line. I just wanted one item um, and this is this crazy cool um, sort of checkered 
shirt. Again, I love shirts. I have loads of different styles, colours, and I thought this was really Christmassy. So yeah, and I thought, you know, it's quite, it's, it's a lot more out there actually than what I would usually wear. It's originally £35. Um, I got it in the extra small because again, this is actually on the oversized sort of style. Um, it's a really nice sort of brushed cotton, so it's really warm. And I thought it was just, again, something different, a little bit brighter. And then lastly, I've got a bundle of stuff that I got from H&M. I actually very rarely shop in H&M, but a few weeks ago I went in there, picked up two jumpers. I got one that was um, just like new out, new in season. Um, this was £20, or was it 25 Oh no, it was £20, I got it in the extra small, again this is in the oversized sort of style. Um, it's kind of like this sort of teddy bear brown, really soft, and it's not itchy, I was worried it was going to be itchy. And yeah, it's just a plain jumper, but again it's just a staple, you can throw it on with a pair of jeans, a pair of Uggs, and you're pretty much good to go. I can layer it up with shirts underneath, um, put a gilet over the top. And I just thought it was a really nice colour. Um, and then I also got another jumper which I found in the sale randomly. And I took a kind of chance on it and I thought I would just try it. And it was only, it was originally £25 and it was down to £5. So an absolute bargain, extra small in size. And this is a gorgeous sort of green colour. It's v-neck. And this is really nice actually, a really nice one. It's really slouchy, it's really kind of feminine because it's got the sort of v-neck. And again with black jeans, um, you know, quite festive. I think you could dress that up and dress it down. And last two items, I ordered a few things for the children online and I ordered myself a couple of things. A couple of things went back and then I kept this jumper. As you can see, my theme of this autumn winter was jumpers. I pretty much, that's all I really needed. Um, I got this jumper, which is their family jumper. You can get this in the mum, the dad, um, and the children's sizes. However, online, all the kids' sizes are sold out apart from baby. Um, so yeah, it's just got the tiger and it's just a grey basic jumper. I think this is 9.99. Is the Conscious range. So I think this is organic cotton. Yeah, I think it is. And it's a size eight. And I really like that. It's got rolled sleeves. It's a really nice length, nice and oversized. And again, just something a little bit different, a little bit darker. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much my haul. I hope this hasn't been really long-winded. I'm gonna try and insert either I'm not sure if I'm going to do this as a try on or I might do just a separate video on sort of my sort of autumn, winter, maybe a lookbook or something. I'm not sure how it's going to go. You'll find out whether this is a try on or not from the title. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. Um, I'll try and leave everything linked in the description bar because pretty much most of this is online and it's current season, um, apart from the old sale bits or eBay bits. There's a few items that I am still looking for. I am wanting to get some black jeans. I might go to Gap Outlet for that. Um, I did pick up some blue ones over the summer. Um, I also want a pair of a new pair of Chelsea boots, some leather ones. Um, I always look at the Jules ones. They have so many nice ones in Jules, but they're just too narrow for my fat feet. It's so annoying. And but even getting the size up, it just doesn't make any difference. Yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. Let me know what you are getting for autumn winter. Is there anything specific? Do you get a coat? Um, do you get new boots? Do you go all out and just go for the full wardrobe? I've kind of gone shirts and jumpers this year with the one skirt. Um, but yeah, let me know if there's any other videos that you want to see. I have already switched over my winter wardrobe, autumn winter wardrobe. Um, I do it every year and I know I, f I filmed it pretty much the last few years, but I kind of felt like it's just the same stuff. Like literally, it is the same stuff. Um, I keep stuff for so many years, obviously until it looks tatty or it goes really out of fashion. So you've probably seen half of my wardrobe already for the last five years. But um, yeah, let me know what you do as well. Do you pack your stuff away or do you just keep it all out? Your summer stuff, your winter stuff. I find I don't have the room to have everything out. So that's why I tend to take stuff away and 
pack it away. It also kind of feels like Christmas when you're opening up the box and you're like, oh my God, I forgot I had that dress or I forgot I had that jumper. I love that feeling. It kind of feels like you're shopping your own wardrobe. Um, yeah, but anyway, I'll stop blabbering on. I hope this video wasn't too long. But yeah, I will catch you all soon. Again, if you've got any video ideas, let me know in the comments below and I will see you all soon.